Now we place this rounded hand with this nice formed bridge on the piano. And we can see that we have our fingertips on the keys. I want to just add that the feeling of your fingertips should be that they are so firm. And again, here's where we start to understand this, this dialogue of opposite qualities. Firmness in our fingertip, but yet lightness in our arm. How do we achieve that? One of the things that, that needs to be present when we play in the wave method is that you feel like your arm is weightless, like, like it's made of feathers, that there's nothing in it, that it can go wherever, and it's just as light as can be. And it will be thrown to different places on the piano, and because your fingertip is firm and prepared, that will cause the sound to blossom. We spoke about this dialogue of contrary elements before. Firmness of the fingertip versus lightness of the arm. The wrist also has two elements happening. It has the one element which is that it's very stiff and prepared right before you play the note. This is very important because if you have a floppy wrist, what happens is you throw off the points of your um, very critical form. Because when you play a note, what should you should feel like is that this is one unit. Not, you know, that there's a joint here that's floppy and a joint here that's floppy and a joint here that's floppy. But that this, right when you're about to play, this is one one unit that operates together. So the wrist before we play the note is firm. I can't even move it. And also my fingertip is firm. But the minute I penetrate through that resistance point that we spoke about earlier, what will happen is that the wrist will rebound. It'll get light. The moment you pass through the resistance point, it automatically instantly gets light and that's where the relaxation comes. So there's a moment to be prepared and then there's a moment to be relaxed. But we cannot switch around those moments. There's a time and a place for everything. So let's see how this works. Let's